Hello everybody, Vergosity here. Welcome back to Future Craft, episode number 26 today, gentlemen and ladies, coming to you from the site of the Future Craft Defense Squad. And guys, if you didn't see it last time, we built this amazing slime gun launcher and launched slime up into the air and captured this big old spaceship that's looming in the background there. Guys, if you didn't see that, it was a lot of fun. One of the more fun episodes I've done. I would definitely check it out. And guys, we are going to be working on the Future Craft Defense Squad today. Look what's in my hand here. I've created ourselves a bag. Now have a little badge to carry around to show that we are part of the squad. So, I don't know if anybody else has uh, expressed interest in joining up yet, but I'm sure at some point we'll hopefully get somebody that wants to come on board. And guys, what we're going to do today is we're going to be working in this area up here. We're going to be crafting some things and doing some things around here to get this a little more official looking, a little more official than just the few signs that we have here. Because inside here, we have started to work on the little bit of uh hang on let me get my stuff here so i can see properly yeah we started to work on the door puller down mechanism that's gonna hide the uh the water elevator that's gonna carry us up to the control tower and uh, I did a little tutorial for this just yesterday, so if you want to see how this little thing works, go and check that out. Now, it's not fully hooked up yet, but I can simulate it by just doing something like that. Yeah, and then you see the door closes, and then we would go up through the thing, and then it would, or, well, there it opens. <laughs> we would go up through the thing, and then... Then it would close behind us and we would be up in the top right there. So, yep, this is our little um, double piston extender hipster one by two door. Uh, and we're going to put a key card reader, I think probably like right here. We're just going to have you throw the key card right into the floor because I've got a design by Impulse that I've built before and know how to do and works pretty simple. So I think we're going to install that right there. So, yep, you walk up, you can have a little piece of paper or a book or something. I don't remember exactly how it triggers, but you kind of throw it at a square on the floor and there'll be a hopper underneath there and if you've thrown the proper item the hopper will pick it up and it'll shift through and it will unlock the door for us and then we can head up to the top so uh, other than that guys we're gonna do some decorating around out here we got to figure out something because it's just a little too big and open it doesn't look too scary yet the defense squad needs a little less grass I think we need to make it a little more official up here so lots of stuff to do today guys we're also gonna head out see the witch farm because I haven't been out there in a long time and I know they've been doing some progress so we definitely want to check that out so guys lots of stuff to do let's get right into it so we don't have the key card reader in yet but here you go here's the nice idea for the door and then you would walk into here and you would head right up and it would close behind you and right up to the top floor, lickety-split, to what is going to be our command center once we get this all decorated, too, because we're going to do some work up here, too. So, yeah. All right. Um, that's cool. Let's get the uh, keycard reader installed for it now. So we're trying to develop the keycard reader that will open the door to take us up to the command center inside our... FDS headquarters there uh, and this is kind of what I've come up with so far it's working we're about 80% of the way there but basically we've got our nice little item filter down here and the banners that I made for the um, for the badges is going to be what you input in here so the way we've got it set up right now is basically this will be exposed on the floor and you're going to put your banner in here and then you hit the button and as long as you have the right item in there that lights going to go off now let's try it with a different item. We can see with the redstone dust, the light will not go off. Now the items flow back around and down into here, and we've got them going to this point so far. Now the, what we need to do is we need to get them up the rest of the way, because this is a dropper elevator, and it's going to push them around and then send them back up to this top dropper eventually. We had it working very close. We're very, very close. The only thing is I have to lock this hopper as the item is flowing through. Otherwise, when it gets to this, or I'm sorry, I have to, otherwise when it gets to this dropper, this hopper will pick it back up and send it back through the system. So we just got to work on how we're going to, 
lock this hopper as the item is flowing back up because ideally you'll hit the button and if you hit the well see that's not going to work then because you're still going to have to open the thing back up to take your key card out while the door is open so you'd have to be kind of quick so you'd have to go ding the thing would open back up then you could grab your thing out of the hopper out of the dropper and go through hmm that might be a little much Ah, uh, well, I mean, I'm halfway through it right now, so I want to at least see if I can get this thing working. We we'll just put enough to lay on the door so that you have enough time to grab the card and then go through. I think that'll work fine. So this monstrosity right here actually works. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's got a lot of observers running around, but that's how I had to do it to trigger all of the dispensers in all the different places. So let's check it out. So yeah, let's see, we've got a redstone dust in there right now, which is not the proper key card. So when we hit the button... The light does not turn on, but we get the redstone dust back up in the top dropper. Now, if we do a banner in here, which would be the key card, we're going to get the light to go on, and then the banner comes right back up for us. So, I think we actually did it, guys. I'm very happy with this. It's kind of big. It's a little ugly, but it's okay. It, uh, it works. Works for what we needed to do. So, let's go back over to Futurecraft and put this up. So, guys, I think if we're lucky, we're going to have some success here. Here we go. We've installed our little key card reader, or our big card key card reader, in the floor over here. And that's why it was tough, because I wanted it to be in the floor. I didn't want it to be in a wall, and I couldn't find any designs anywhere that had it be in the floor. So, let's try it out here. We've got our key card in here. This is basically our badge. And when we hit it, uh, I think the signal should go through and... Um, yeah, it's going to be a positive output, so the signal will actually flow up through here into this comparator clock and trigger that door. Boom! There you go! Okay, definitely need a little bit more delay on it. Need a little bit more delay, I think, because that didn't seem to be long enough. Or maybe that that might just not be hooked up pr properly yet. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Uh, but yeah, that's the idea right there. And then when we hit it with nothing in it... Oh, it still opens. Okay, well, that's not right. Hang on a second. Oh, because I didn't take the key card out of it. Ha <laughs> ha, the key card was still in it. Okay. So yeah, there's going to need to be more of a delay between when this happens and when that door opens. So maybe we can even just put a little repeater action in here to slow it down just a little bit. And I got to make sure this comparator clock is hooked up right. But that is the right idea right there, guys. How exciting. They say the third time is the charm, and I think the third time is going to be the charm for us because I actually did try it and it seemed to work. So there we go, we got it opening up and then closing with the right item in it. And let's throw the wrong thing in it and see what happens. Nothing should happen. We should just get that item back up at the top right here. Perfect. There we go. We got it. Now we just fill all of this madness in with the stone bricks again. And we'll be all set and looking pretty spiffy in here once again, ready to move on to something else. I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself that I managed to pull this off. Look at this. That's That looks absolutely cool. It's just, it's very unassuming. It's just, what is this right here? What should I do with this? Oh, let me put my badge in there and then see what happens over here. And then I'll grab my badge back and I'll head right up into the upstairs and into the command center. Beautiful. Oh, there's the shift, man. I just... That just looks absolutely fantastic. <laughs> well, in the meantime, guys, we're going to go take a little trip. And I don't know. Oh, I guess I should look in the book to see where it is, actually, instead of just flying around here. We're going to take a little trip. There's a couple people on right now. And Pignutto has been doing amazing work out at the witch farm. And I think Mofo is out there, too. So I want to go say hi, see how those guys are doing. Uh, let's see. 180 and 55. I'm pretty sure it's this direction here. Yeah, over this way. 180 and 55 is probably this one right here. Let's see. Yup, there you go. There's a couple more awesome banners. These banners are incredible. Pignutto did all the banners, by the way. I think I had misspoken before and said that Oob did them all, but he did. Hey! It's Malfoke! What's up, dude? How's it going? <laughs> wow look at this thing guys this is uh i um wow i haven't been out here holy crap 
Wow, guys, they have been doing some work over here. Look, look at this thing. This is absolutely incredible. I can't even believe. I mean, when I was out here last time, the whole thing was like this. The whole entire thing was like this. So, dude, at least half of this is done because I think that portal's at the halfway point right there. So more than half of this has been done. Just with this little flying machine right here. Just with this one little guy. And it just sweeps back and forth. And then the only thing that players have to do, and Pignutto's been doing a ton of this, is they come in with lava buckets. And you just kind of clean up all the lava right through there. Yep, and then the uh, that flying machine comes and hits this little station. And it slides itself over by one. And you just keep going and going and going. I think that's how it works anyways. Yeah, look at this. So neat and fun to fly around. I should do some sitting on the flying machine. Really, you just have to kind of sit there in AFK. It's really actually pretty easy. But, you know, this is the site of the future quad witch hut perimeter. So this is, uh, this is incredible. Yeah, so this half is totally done. And then just finishing up and working on this half over here. I don't know what is the point of these little slats. Hey, don't, he's trying to push me off. <laughs> he's trying to push me off here. I'm trying to record. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I don't know what the little point of these slats is here. I wonder if we can see if they go down or something or if this is how they got rid of the water, maybe. Oh, that might be how they got rid of the water. Yeah, with the sponge blocks in there. And those are like kind of like scaffolding almost that you put the sponge blocks on. And yeah, there must not have been water in the other spots then. So that makes sense. Oh, it's all fun and it's all fun in games until oh my gosh, guys, look. Me and Volfo were playing around. Molfo! Molfo shot Paul! That's a beetle! So as I was making this video and watching this back, I realized Molfo K did not shoot Paul. I shot Paul. You shot Paul McCartney. I can't believe he shot Ron. There's no more George, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. There's no more Paul. <laughs> oh, I got my spy stuff on because now I'm in mourning. I don't want anybody to see my, my crying eyes because I'm so sad because we shot Paul McCartney. Oh. That was weird. Whoa. Okay, something weird. Look at this. What's going on? Uh. Uh. What is? <laughs> what? Hey. What? Eh. Uh. <laughs> Hang on. What's happened here? I don't know what to do. <laughs> I think we gotta close the game. I think we gotta shut the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I definitely crashed the game. <laughs> Mofo is, he's, uh, so he's, you know, guys are so smart. They're so smart and trying to be funny and whatnot. So we decided to take the trident and make it stand up. And I'm like, yeah, now you can put it back. And look at him, he's just, uh, not having a good time getting it back down on the table. Not having a good time. Oh, nope, he's turned it. <laughs> he's turned it a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> gonna... No, no. <laughs> I think he's given up on trying to... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going down very quickly, sir. Maybe I can help you. No, don't burn. <laughs> He's giving up. So we did a nice cleaning up back over here. Got rid of all that dirt. Made it nice and secure. Put a nice stone floor in and a too high fence all the way around to keep us nice and secure in here. And we did the lower half slab so we don't have to worry about mob spawning in here, which is pretty nice. Except for maybe like right 
here. I got to do something about that right there. Uh, that stinks. Because I actually put that light up there to block the spawning over here. Yeah, we're good. Just this one spot right here I got to get. Uh, that stinks. Okay. Or maybe I'll just make it a stair, actually. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. That's one little tiny thing. But yeah, we just got this cleaned up over here. I um, think we're going to start working on the upstairs area there for now. Uh, we're going to have a little fun with um, Tizy Boy. He's going to come and do some decorating and some playing around over here. We're going to do some collaborating on this area a little bit. He had asked me if I would be interested in that, and I was like, that sounds like a really fun idea. So I think we're going to do a little bit of something, something over here. Look at, so I could put, let me see here. Because I'm trying to make that not be spawnable right there. What if I just put a stone button down there and then nobody could spawn on it? Right? And it'll still activate the door. There we go. And then I could take off the one up there. There we go. Boom. Perfect. So we have put together something up here. We're starting the command center. And we cleaned it up a little bit and started to put in some modules and fix this module over here because that was just the very rudimentary controls just so we can get our first launch with the slime cannon. But now that we've got that in, we've installed a proper, more proper terminal over here with our on-off switch and our targeting locator right there. Uh, and I wanted to have some computer monitors sitting around here. And when I have other computer monitors, basically it's just a pain on a wall and it doesn't look terribly realistic but I found this way to do a computer monitor basically it's a banner uh, a light blue banner with a couple pieces of black dye around it and then across the middle and then you set it down into the block like that and I'll be damned if that doesn't look like a computer screen all the way around there so I'm really happy we found that that's <laughs> really really neat and we also installed some radar sensors up across the top here just to keep a lookout for us looking for any stray ships or anything like that and I stole this little technique from Tizy Boy with the lecterns and then putting the item frame in the lecterns and this is now our uh, GPS station here this is how we're gonna lock our coordinates in over here and then we hit this button there and it locks in the coordinates and then the firing mechanism is over here so a couple nice things there down on the floor here uh, we've got a map working here and the map is going to meet need to be heavily explored by the Futurecraft Defense Squad. We've just got the very starting area and we are right just about in the middle. I believe our town is dead center in the middle. So we need to start scouring the rest of this area here, make a note of any things that we find and uh, any, any things that look out of place and we need to report back. So guys, this is starting to come together. I think we're probably just about done with this for today because I do want to play around with Tyves boy up here and man we have some different time schedules this time frame is 4 a.m. my time to play my time to play so I don't know how that's gonna work we're gonna have to have a really early morning one of these days I think next time we'll have some work to see with me and Tizy boy but I'm pretty happy with how the command center started to come out so far guys lots of work we got done today and there's always lots more to do and if you want to see more stuff hit subscribe and click that bell and you will always know as soon as a new episode is coming out. You guys have a great day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.